Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. Now this will be a little bit of a different video because I do want to respond to TechLead about his comments about Flutter Framework, uh, that the Flutter Framework is dead on arrival, it does not have any future and things like that. And obviously I really don't agree with anything that he said and it kind of shows that how disconnected some people are with the community, how, how people are disconnected with technologies. And I really urge Techly to try out the Flutter framework. I mean, I have been developing iOS applications since 2010, native application, and I really never liked any framework. I tried out React Native, it was okay. I tried out Xamarin, it was like, okay, I don't want to use that. Sencha framework, PhoneGap, all of those different frameworks I tried out, Ionic also, and I never really liked any framework. But then when Flutter came around, it completely changed everything. It is an amazing framework. From, from Google that allows you to build cross-platform applications. Now, the first thing what I would encourage TechLead to do is to definitely try out the Flutter framework because from his video, it definitely looks like he has no experience. He didn't even try it out. So I would definitely urge you to try out the Flutter framework. It's actually really easy to try out, set up, get started. Now, all the framework does have, whenever a new framework comes, they do have problems. I mean, they do have issues. But what we should see is that the future direction of the framework and how those issues are being handled. So if you look at the Flutter framework and you look at the issues are always going down, the, the, the Flutter team is always on top of the issues. They're, they're working towards the issues. And the best part of the Flutter is the community itself. It's a very vibrant community. It's all over the world. There are conferences being held. There are live sessions. There are hackathons, like hackathons on hackathons being held everywhere for Flutter. And there's a lot of great people out there who are supporting the Flutter framework, along with the hundreds and thousands of people who are uh, community members who are supporting this. Now, I have used Flutter. Now, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself like an experienced Flutter developer but I have used Flutter for six to eight months and I loved it. I think uh, the hot reload feature, the ability to write code running on different platforms like Android and iOS on one track and even the web platform, if you if you know that it, if it can actually, you can just copy paste the code and it will run on the web platform. I think these, this, these are great. Now, obviously Flutter or any other framework is not the answer for everything. There is no silver bullet, right? But if you go to enterprise, if you go to the companies, uh, they may not have resources to, to go build iOS application as well as Android applications. So Flutter is an ideal choice for them because they can just write one app and it will run on many different platforms. And having worked with dozens of Fortune 500 companies as a consultant and as a full-time, I can tell you that there are a lot of companies that, are, uh, that will be very happy with Flutter because you have to look at it from the company side point of view, right? I mean, why would we invest in a separate app for iOS and a separate app for uh, Android when it is only going to be used by internal employees? Now, Flutter, obviously I'm not saying that Flutter should only be used for internal employees or internal apps. I mean, Flutter is everywhere. There are Alibaba is using Flutter and many other companies. I don't know the name of them, but Alibaba is the biggest one that is actually using Flutter for their applications. And I, I believe that the future for Flutter is very, very bright. The community is very, very active. And I, I really can't wait to see what Flutter team is going to do this year, next year. And I think Flutter is just keep on growing. But videos like that, what TechLeak has done, this representing or uh, sending out misinformation, that is not only bad for you know, I mean, I know that you're getting views and all that stuff, but in the end, it's just a, a bad practice because people who are not experienced are going to land on those videos and they're going to, they're going to be like, okay, yeah, well, I read it somewhere from this really experienced person that Flutter is not good. When we know that that person who made the video doesn't have any experience in creating Flutter apps. So I would advise everyone to, you know, when you are looking for videos, when you're looking for opinions, you should go to the more experienced person who has actually used Flutter. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm that person, but there are many other people uh, who are in, in the Flutter community. You will find them and check out their experience. Now, Flutter is not a silver bullet, is not the solution for all your problems, but I think it's really a great framework. And I have 
worked with Flutter for, you know, six to eight months or so, and, and I loved it. I mean, it is just an amazing framework uh, to work with, and, and whatever the tech league is saying, it's, uh, it's completely wrong. I mean, it completely show a person that has never used the tools, never used Flutter to create any applications. Now, I, obviously, there will be some issues in the framework, but, you know, I mean, what name one framework that does not have any issues. There is no perfect framework. But the most important part is that there's a community behind the framework and the people who are building the framework, they are passionate about it to improve it. And every release, as we have seen, is improving the framework bits by bits. It's still a very new framework, right? I mean, it was released in 2017 or so. So it's still a very new framework. Uh, but I, and, and I think it has come a long way. There are a lot of community members behind it. There are a lot of features that keeps on adding to the Flutter framework and the Dart language, and it keeps on growing. And I'm really excited about the Flutter framework. Even though I spend most of the time in iOS native framework, I think Flutter has a real future behind it. And uh, I think this is uh, one of the best frameworks that I have seen for building cross-platform applications. So if you go and watch Tech Lead video, make sure that you also research on your own that this person has never really created any Flutter apps. And what he's talking about doesn't really make any sense. You should always go for people, the community, look for the community, look for the community leaders, and, and find out what they are saying about the Flutter framework. And the best way to check out the Flutter framework, go ahead and try it out yourself. If you are a native developer, if you're an iOS native developer, go ahead and try it out yourself. And that's the only way that you can find out that if the framework is good for you or if the framework is not good for you, all right? I mean, uh, that's, the only, that's literally the only way. All right, so I really hope that you have got some information in this video um, and you should not like blindly follow tech lead you should not blindly follow myself you should always look at the community you should always look at the people who are developing the framework and the best of uh, best of all you should always try out the framework yourself that if it fits and suits your needs or not that's the only way that you will learn about the framework all right I personally think Flutter is awesome I personally think that it has a great future. I think it, yes, it does have issues. And well, every framework does have issues. I mean, uh, Xcode native development have been released, what, since 2007, 2008 or something, all right? Uh, and well, we are still having issues with Xcode. We are still having issues with, uh, you know, Swift language released in 2014. I mean, that's fine. I mean, these are issues. We are working towards them. It's it's just uh, the way the things progress, right? Nothing is perfect, right? Um, so try it out, uh, and uh, that's the only way for you to find out. So really, I, I hope that you have gotten a little bit of information uh, from this video, th the truth about Flutter, and uh, it will give you a little bit of encouragement to try it out yourself.